Hey guys, welcome to another part of the front view camera installation in Golf Mark 7. So right now I have the camera placed in the front grill. I have wiring over here and right now I'm going to try to access uh, the cabin. So I need to wire uh, this camera through the firewall. And what I've done already is remove the battery which was over here so i removed the positive and negative terminals this is 10 millimeter uh, socket uh, also disconnected the battery monitoring module which is over here i believe this is uh, in all vehicles with the uh, start stop system and also there's a 13 millimeter um screw over here which you need to remove this is for the battery holder which actually holds the battery in place so it's not sliding back and forth okay so without the battery we have access to the firewall it's not the best access that we can uh, um, hope for but let's hope that it will be just enough so over here you can see so over here you can see wires going through the firewall and i believe underneath this there's a there's an empty spot which we can use to wire from the cabin to the engine bay so let's go inside okay and right now on the left side of the vehicle we should be able to see this is the this is the wiring that i've talked about and over here below it there's an empty, empty spot that we can use to um, wire through the firewall. So I'm going to puncture it with something and we will check if we can see this on the other side. I have a couple of screwdrivers, so let's start with the, let's start with the smallest one. That's right, the smallest screwdriver, screwdriver is through this plastic grommet. And if I go over here right now and squeeze my hand over here i can just barely barely feel it over here well i can feel it pretty well but i cannot show you this because there's no room for the camera so right now i'm going to try to push the wiring through this hole okay situation update so i took this wire which is scrap wire actually I flipped this grommet inside out, so it's more into in, more of it is, is inside the cabin, and I've guided this old scrap wire through it. So right now I can tape the actual new wiring over here, and I can pull it through the firewall. Hopefully, this will work. I'm not sure if this is going to work. And there's an RCA connector over here. As, uh, as you might know from the previous part of this uh, installation and <laughs> I'm not sure if it's, going, if it's going to fit that easily through this grommet. Grommet? Grommet? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Okay, so here goes nothing. If it doesn't work, I will just cut this wire somewhere in the middle, pass it through and solder it back together. But, well, ju let's just hope that this will work. Okay, it was a fight, but it's it's true. I had to um, enlarge the puncture over there. But my tip for you is don't bother with the connector. Just cut it in half, wire it through, and then solder it back together. It will be faster, easier, most likely safer to do it like this than to do it like me. Okay, so right now I have to route this wiring to the camera. Camera is over here, so I believe I will go somewhere over here, maybe underneath the uh, battery tray, which is here. I will find a, a proper way, but most important, the hard, hard part is done. Okay, wiring update. So the path that I choose, chose was like this, from the uh, firewall underneath this 
piece of um, battery tray. It goes over here. Can you see it? Yeah, it's over here underneath the um, engine, bay, engine bay fuse box. So it's right here. And then underneath this holder, then somewhere over here next to the uh, hood release line, under the uh, washer fluid cup and here i've removed the front grill right now then behind this uh, plastic or rubber um, piece right over here and here we are i believe this is the right place of course i also need power connector not only the video signal connector but also the power connector i will connect ground somewhere not sure where actually right now and 12 volt power goes to this so i can uh, turn on the camera from the cabin yeah there's a piece of wire like this on the other end of the uh, video signal feed so i will connect the positive to this and negative somewhere to the ground and those two connectors will be waiting over here and i have those two connectors from the camera another small step further so i've made this i've connected the camera so i will place the badge in a minute in its place the whole grill in its place and um, the wiring is tucked in over here uh, with the line to release the hood you can see a small zip tie over here and we have the wiring going underneath the uh, engine bay fuse box and over here i've added this ground connection underneath this uh, this one and right now i believe i can assemble the engine bay stuff just to make sure everything is in place before i will start to work inside the vehicle now that the battery is in place, we can go here. I've removed this side cover over here. There's a single torx screw that you need to remove and then you can pull it downwards. And my, well, maybe let me show you. Screw goes here and there are two clips. One is here, one is here. So you need to pull it downwards to release it from the center console. And right now, aha, and I've done the same thing on the other side. So we can look through the center console to see the other side of the vehicle. And right now uh, we can wire, we can guide this wire from here to the other side because we want to connect this to the mine unit, which is in the glove box on the passenger side. So let's do it. Okay, that was fairly simple. Wire goes down over here under this plastic holder. So you need to remove it for a second and, and lift the carpet to go underneath. Uh, somewhere over here under the acceleration pedal. And you can see it over here. It jumps to the other side of the vehicle. And on the other side, it goes once again under the carpet and it sticks out over here. And we are fairly close to the unit, which is here. So I believe I need to remove a couple pieces of trim to be next to the, next to the unit. Couple next pieces of trim removed. So start with this one. There's a passenger airbag switch over here. So I will not disconnect it. I don't want to deal with diagnostic tools today. So after removing this, you can remove this piece of trim, which you should actually just pull over here. And there's a single um, holder clip lock over here, which you also need to just pull. And with this released, you can release this, just pull it upwards. There's a couple of clips like this. And when this is, put, put it to the side, when this is in this position and uh, this is removed, you can remove this piece of uh, this piece of trim, which is mounted like so. And there's a single clip. You don't need to remove it like this, because if you just pull it towards the end of the vehicle, this metal clip will just slide out from the 
holder. You can, of course, you can pry it uh, in this direction, but there's no need. It's, it's just easier to slide it out and just then remove the metal element and put it back in place. So, with this and with this foam slightly to the side, I can now access a lot of wiring stuff over here. There's my uh, video signal cable. And right now I will use those to remove the mine unit from the glove box just to reach the wiring behind it. Well, okay, I have it tucked in behind the mine unit right now. And that's it for today for this part. So in another video, I'm going to show you how to actually connect it to the MIB unit. And we will try to um, control the relay that, switch, that is switching the video feed from the rear to the front so it's uh, intercepting the uh, video signal that came that comes from the uh, reverse camera and it uh, is uh, uh, putting in the signal from the front camera instead so we will try to check how it works if it actually still works and right now i'm going to assemble this uh, uh, car back together just so it's drivable again uh, so subscribe for another part of this tutorial see you soon